All right, so what else happened in Keene <laughs> this week? Something about parking meters being doubled? The fees? What the fuck? What's wrong with these people? Uh, you need to ask Mr. Big Hair and Mr. Robin Hood about that. <laughs> Mr. Big Hair. Because they were the ones it's all their fault. that went to the meeting and the hearing. All I know is that some no, fart, fart. puzzle wants to increase the parking rates to where instead of getting half an hour for 25 cents, you get 20 minutes for 25 cents. So it's not exactly doubled. They should do it. But the fines, the, are, the the fines, fines will be doubled. They should do it. Mm -hmm. There will be now a, if, if this actually does go through, a 25 cent minimum because... 20 minutes is not divisible by any of the de denominations of currency mm -hmm. below a quarter. Gotcha. So we can't give you half a minute. We can't give you five and a half minutes for this amount of change. Well, I don't think their meters work that way. I don't I don't I think you're absolutely right. They probably are not programmable. That's why they did it this way. I thought they were just rounding up. No, no. That's why they did it this way. Is so that they can't divide. Because if you want to do it divisible, all right, 25 cents gives you 25 minutes, and then it's basically a penny a minute. Get those nerds! So, yeah, they, they want to increase the... Wait, were you calling me a nerd because I do math? <laughs> you do math on the show. The hell? I'm yeah. trying to raise the IQ by like a point no, and a half. And there he lost me. We, we don't need all that. Uh, so the, the entire article is, and the there's a Sentinel article, there's a Free Keen article, and there's the video, and I think at least four activists spoke at this particular event. I wasn't able to go. I work nights. But it's all at thefreekeen.com, and you'll be hearing more of this. I think they're – I don't think this is going to go anywhere. I don't think it's going to be uh, – I don't think they're going to go with this. I think there are enough people on the city council who are against it. I know that there's some on the city council that are for it. I think there are enough citizens who are just upset already with parking, and they and the last thing they want is let it go up even further. Uh, I, the bottom line is this is just one other thing that government does. They need to let, they need to let loose. They need to they need to sell those parking spots to those uh, businesses and to those property owners, and let them maintain their own parking spaces. Just like guess what? Just like I maintain my own parking spot. Just like Walmart maintains their own parking spot. Just like Colony Mill maintains their entire parking spot. Why do the businesses on Main Street get a free ride? See here you go. Here's Main Street business welfare. That's what all it. That's what government is at the end of the day. It's just more fart. welfare for whoever has the most lobbyists and the most votes. But it's not even welfare because the businesses are paying a fee to the city for the spots. Yeah, I think they're. When you consider that they're spending well, almost like three million on parking out of the budget, they're probably making out like champs. They are probably paying a fee and they're probably making out. It's definitely subsidized. Of course, if you consider, if you had to pay for your own snow removal and your own guy picking uh, cigarette butts out of the grass, well, that doesn't cost much. That's a $5 an hour job for Graham or whoever. I, he, I bet he would love a job like that. That's not a fair wage. Yeah, well. Uh, I, I'm going to hold my tongue on that, but... I know it probably wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't go down because you got to wake up in the morning to go do jobs like that and, you know. Before the, because you don't want to see the riffraff out there in the grass picking cigarette butts when you have all your tourists, your keen tourists. Yeah. Uh, visiting, well, you know, you could just town. do what you do with the rest of the riffraff, and you put a government uniform and a badge on them, and suddenly they're no longer riffraff, and you can just, you know, what they had to do? They had to have the riffraff dress up in costumes and put on badges, and then stand by each uh, meter, and then every time somebody's late to pay the meter, they just wait till they come back to their car, and you, they just shoot them in the head. I'm a cop guy. 